season so make sure you get into some heavy metal okay metal I'm saying get organized you know anytime you got some metal you know that's like a dense form <clears throat> it's about organization what's good what's good Onyx what's good Kia what's good Queen Calypso yeah yeah we big cap big stepper things of that nature so everybody worried about their position right now Everybody trying to see if their position is stable. If they on stable grounds or they on shaky grounds. Then we got Mercury retrograde. You know, in a mix of things in that nature, making us question our stability at the moment. I'm questioning the stability of my hat right now. Like, is it popping or no? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just the energies we am questioning the stability of my hat. But for the most part, you know what I'm saying? Those are the energies we dealing with, baby. So yeah, new moon. So this is a new status, new position, new time, uh, new reality. Okay, emotionally, emotionally. Now, as far as the physical, it's going to be a little bit changed on how you feel about it. As far as what you're relating to, it's going to be a little bit changed on that end. As far Because we got also a trine with Uranus right now. So there's a lot of change going on, a lot of change, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of shit extra right now. A lot of shit is being hella extra for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Being extra. Being extra. Okay? So, a lot of shit being extra right now in, in the world and things of that nature. So, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like kind of we got to match the energy, energies and be a little extra to ourselves and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? All this exaggerated as energy. We got Pluto. We got Mercury. We got Venus. We got Sun and the Moon in fucking Capricorn right now. That's nuts. That's nuts. It's nuts. It's a stellium almost. So if you was born today, you got a stellium. I got a goddamn Capricorn stellium myself. Okay? But yeah, so you got to be a little extra because everybody being extra a little bit. So you got to be a little extra too. So just be a little extra. You'll be good. You know what I'm saying? Be a little extra for this transit and you will be good. Okay? God want to see if you can change. You know what I'm saying? God if you wanna, want, you to, want you to exemplify change. You know what I'm saying? God wants you to be a little extra. Okay? Be a little extra, extra real. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> you know, God wants to see if you could be a little extra. You know what I'm saying? This chain. Or is somebody going to bring that energy in your goddamn motherfucking life? They're going to be hella extra. You know what I'm saying? So, it's either you're going to be extra or you're going to allow somebody to be extra on you. And then that's when you're not in a space where you could have been extra. You could have been extra for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You could have been extra. Now, as far as the participation, we still on a new moon. So the, the participation in it may seem minor in percentage level. But that's what it all starts. It starts with a seed. You know what I'm saying? So you can have an extra seed in your mind. Or you can have an extra... Uh, an extra um, you, can, you can have an extra seed in what without Vera. You have an extra seed in your mind, you know what I'm saying? Some a little seed that you can plant within your mind. And he's like, this is my extra seed. So now when this motherfucker start blossoming and these motherfucking transits start hitting this shit, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be extra in the right areas. So you got to make sure you extra in the right areas. If you ain't being extra right now, you know what I'm saying? Being extra for yourself, you know, on a mental level, on the emotional level, you know what I'm saying? And be enough is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Be extra, read all that. And that's what these energies kind of teaching us and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, other than that, you know, uh, Capricorn season, it's all about status. It's all about position. It's all about standing on something. So, you know what I'm saying? That's security. That's the first instance of security, which is cardinal earth. Cardinal earth initiating a new way to think and be practical. Okay? So, <clears throat> Once you got that thought and shit like that, that plan, you got to put the practical action behind that. You know what I'm saying? You got to put that practical, you got to put the actual step behind that. You got to put the one, two, three. You don't even know probably how it go. 
and things of that nature, but you gotta try. And that's why Capricorn is associated with failure sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Especially within, you know, government and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, they want, I mean, that's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be, be about your status and things of that nature. And this kind of takes us to being within the South perspective of our water cycle. And that is our emotions and things. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, she she said, this nigga spin. Oh, real shit, you already know. Kia, Bia, Kia, Bia. Um, yeah, so we got to be a little extra, okay? So you got to stand on your position. You got to stand on your motherfucking status. Who are you? You know what I'm saying? Who are you? And shit like that. Real shit. Who are you? Who are you as a motherfucking spirit? Real shit. Who is you? You know what I'm saying? That's what God want to see right now. God want to see you be extra. God want to see you step up. Like I said, even if it's not playing out physically within the mental aspect of yourself, within the emotional aspect of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mainly, look, hold on, I didn't map it out. Let me show y'all. I'll show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. A little bit. I ain't gonna show y'all too much. Yeah. So you can use you know I'm saying a little a little mapping it out. You know what I'm saying? Getting the date, getting the elements that's going on, all that shit. My nigga is cooking up on Twitch. Who cook, cooking up on Twitch? What's what's that? What's what's going on on Twitch? What's going on on Twitchy? Twitchy. But yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? We being extra. So all Capricorn season, that's what it's about. Now, it's hella energies here. Okay? So, you know, the only thing is that based upon the Mercury retrograde, the energies are gonna play out extreme, but they're gonna play out in a space where like whatever status and position that you got going on in your life and shit like that, that's gonna be challenged by some old shit that, or old status or position that you was put in and things of that nature. And they gonna come strong because we got a lot of energies there. So it's gonna come in the form of Pluto, something trying to take power and control over your status and position and what you're trying to build and where you at in your life, well, then it's going to take form of motherfucking um, um, Mercury, some information or somebody communicates some, some shit to you. Then it's going to take form of Venus, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, somebody wanting a specific balance or, you know what I'm saying, based upon where you at and shit like that or, you know what I'm saying, playing seesaw games and things of that nature. They want love and appreciation, you know what I'm saying, or they want to relate a specific status that you had in the past or previous status or something like that. You know what I'm saying, a previous position or previous business that you didn't handled already. You know what I'm saying, all type of previous shit. Then it's gonna come into the form of the fucking right now with our emotions and then somebody expresses some shit or something looking a certain way or some shape or form. Come on, man. You just, you know. When did I become a ghost? Yeah. Shout out to Kid Cudi. Um, yeah, but motherfucking, um, it's a lot of that. It's a lot of that energy. It's a lot of that energy going on in the sky right now. So y'all motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, make sure that you, you know, you see, the thing is about energy, we all like, we all mentally we all spiritually free. That's the one thing you need to know. We already spiritually free. We don't have to get spiritually free. What we need to do is become spiritually aware. And once you become spiritually aware, based upon, you know, you having a certain information, then you can allow start allowing yourself the mental, the mentality to get out of these things that you be lost in, that you be thinking you. But it takes spiritual strength. So it first of all it takes you understanding that you have more more layers to yourself and things of that nature. You have your physical body, then you have your mental body, your thoughts, and your your emotional bodies and things of that nature, and that take you further out. You know what I'm saying? Into, you know, what we use, because we use the mental and emotional body to control this body, if you got what I'm saying. So if I want to get close to you, I'm going to get close and I'm going to use my emotional body. And if I don't fuck you, I'm going to fuck with you. I'm going to be at a distance, okay? So I'm trying to fuck with everybody because you know what I'm saying? I have a strong mentality on a spiritual level trying to come down and connect 
to one each and every one of you motherfuckers, and that's why I'm Zeus and you know what I'm saying I'm lighting shit up piece by piece and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Soul Group. Um and shout out to motherfucking Seco World. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else associated with me. But nonetheless, it's about awakening, okay? Um on any level. On any level that you're on. So getting back on point. We have to um, become spiritually aware because we are already spiritually free. And once we are spiritually aware within a certain space, this is our minds being free within a certain space because we create an awareness. And when we create awareness, you know what I'm saying? We create light and we create information. That information develops into uh, um, connectivity and things and culture and all the type of shit we into and things of that nature. And that's how shit is manifest. Shit is manifest from the inside out. All right, so you know what I'm saying? You gotta be a little extra. You gotta be a little extra now because God wants us to be a little extra because everything that we've been doing previously has been born. But God do get bored. So, therefore, for the motherfucking sake of um, world, world, um, world change and world um, experience and expression and expansion, what what none of us like being in a fucking cage in a routine and pattern. You know what I'm saying? It's important for those who are aware on a certain specific level to get free within the mind and shit like that. Because that's where it starts. And once you start there, you know what I'm saying? This is you detaching from your bullshit and things of that nature. So, therefore, when you have a certain circumstance or a situation come by, the mind that resonates with that piece of circumstance that you're experiencing, say it's somebody uh, from the past or a past circumstance or situation and things of that nature. What that's going to do is bring back an experience. And <clears throat> based upon you and the resonation of that experience, whatever you're experiencing is, is first. The people and places and things that represent that experience are just the representation of it. But once you detach from the thoughts, the feelings, and the minds that you place in that space to even start to, you know, manifest that circumstance or situation, you start to become aware and you be like, oh, this is what I did. Let me change my mind. I'm in a new space. Okay? So it all makes sense, you know, for sure. Shout out to Kia. You know what I'm saying? But um, this is what, it, what we talk about when we talk about getting free. And motherfucker, somebody got to do it. Now you, somebody got to do it. Somebody got to say something. Somebody got to say something. Because I just hear a lot of bitches crying a lot of times. Like, I ain't even just, and I ain't even talking about females. I'm just talking about bitches. You know what I'm saying? I'm just talking about bitches. Like, bitches. A bitches is like nasty feelers in the esoteric room. Shit. And I don't like bitches like that. I be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know them guys. I ain't talking about females. Nah, I love females. Don't get it fucking twisted. Don't get it fucking twisted. What I say is bitches. You know what I'm saying? I be men be bitches too. I don't like any types of bitches. You know what I'm saying? Dogs, none of that. Real shit. No, nah, I'm just playing. Just playing. But uh, for the most part, yo, like, this is the, the space we in. So niggas is, you know, here doing what we're supposed to do all the time, right? Creating, pushing shit out, making shit work. I'm saying, shout out to you. I give you a like. Boop. Real shit. Um, yeah, so it's a real team, man. It's a real team. So, yeah, make sure y'all on y'all shit this Capricorn season. You know what I'm saying? Making sure you step it, taking your proper steps, you know, step at a time, you know, taking your time, you know, it's real back Saturn. So, pay attention to your boundaries. You know, pay attention to what you want to say no to. No is a powerful word right now. Um, um, pay attention to um, 
you know, who you are, you know, and what you stand for. And once you do that, you shit, you on your way. You on your way and things of that nature and act that out, do your rituals and spells and shit like that. Full moon, we're gonna have this full moon in fucking cancer. And once we had this fucking full moon in fucking cancer, you know what I'm saying? You should be fully connected to, you know, um, we don't, we don't have a full connection to our status and things of that nature. And so a new connection about our status as well. So, and our position and things. Like that. So always follow the transits. If you need to need help with the following the transit, I got motherfucking posts and I got, you know, Seagulls Clubhouse membership. I'm fucking with y'all tonight. All right? Motherfucker got shit new. All right? Y'all ask me up.